Hello, I'm Dennis, out at our cabin at Sandy Lake, Manitoba, Canada. I own three Traegers. The little Tex Elite, which we have back at home, which is a very versatile grill. Equally versatile, and we have it at the cabin here, is the PTG. But the one I want to talk most about is this one. The Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. Here in Canada, it can get uh, as cold as minus 40 Celsius. So that's the same temperature as minus 40 Fahrenheit. And whichever way you say it, it's cold. We use this grill year round at the cabin. We do a lot of snowmobiling. This long weekend, we use this grill a fair bit. Uh, we had some friends over for pizza and cooked the pizza in the Traeger. Uh, prior to that, I uh, threw in a cake and uh, baked it in here and we had it uh, for dessert. Last night, we did um, short beef short ribs uh, using the uh, Traeger um, uh, marinated beef rib recipe and uh, it turned out great. My wife said it was the best beef ribs I've ever made so that's, uh, that shows the power in the uh, Traeger grill recipes uh, that you can get. I actually bought it used 10 years ago uh, from a dealer and this thing just purrs like a kitten. And it's a testament to how an investment in a Traeger can really last you a long time. Right now I'm in the final stages of building a new home for this grill. It did get me thinking that Traeger could easily introduce a built-in model for the thousands of uh, outdoor home kitchens that are being put out across North America by reintroducing the Smith & Weston design, uh, dropping the legs, uh, putting in ventilation holes at the front for access for the fans, and maybe some shielding around the side of the base for zero clearance tolerance, and uh, they'd have a wonderful new product. Thanks a lot for hearing me out and have a good day.